Hello and welcome to World of Chemistry. I'm your host, Roda Hoffman. And today for you on the World of Chemistry, we have very exciting experiments for you today. And I'll tell you all about it. And the experiment we'll be conducting today, we'll be placing pennies, normal everyday pennies, in a dirty cruet. And we're going to watch the excitement. I know I can hardly wait. Okay. Thanks, Roland. And now here for you, we're going to be doing the experiment, placing ordinary everyday pennies into the dirty cruet to make them rust. Now, here we go, getting ready to put some pennies in. Whoa! Where's your safety coat and safety goggles? I almost forgot the most important part of a chemistry experiment, that is, safety first. I'll go get my lab apron and coat here. And of course, the safety goggles because more injuries occur to the eyes than any other part of the body during the chemistry experiment. All right, now here we go, ready for the placing of the pennies in the dirty cruet. Now while we do this, they'll be slowly rusting and we have to wait a while. So while we're waiting, why don't we go to an interview that we did with Ron Tucker, who is the owner of the Dirty Cred Company and Chemical Factory in town. Hello, boys and girls. Here we are with Ron Tucker. He's the owner of the chemical factory here in town. Now, here we are. Gonna interview him for you. Whoa, boys and girls. <laughs> Whoa, boys and girls. Well, Ron, we're glad to have you here with the Dirty Cruet. And Ron, I've gotta ask you, how did you get started? Well, Don. I was traveling through the country and I saw this in a small boutique. And I just knew this dirty cruet would rust pennies, unlike any other dirty cruet I've ever come across. Whoa, boys and girls! Well, Ron, have you always owned the dirty cruet company? Well, Don, no, I haven't. I've only owned it for two years. I liked it so much. I bought, I bought the company. The Whoa, boys and girls! Well, Ron, what are some of the uses for the dirty cruet here? <laughs> well, it's quite simple, but it's so amazing. Let me demonstrate. What are you doing there? I'm beginning the rusting process. I am rusting pennies. Whoa, boys and girls! I love the dirty cruet. Whoa, boys and girls! Whoa! Oh, Whoa, boys and girls! Whoa, boys and girls! Ron? Whoa, what are God. your plans for this company here? Well, I think we're going to take it to every street corner in the whole United States. It's going to be big. Real big. How big? Bigger than McDonald's, but smaller than Japan. Whoa, boys and girls! Oxide. Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, Ron, but thanks for Sorry. being with us here, and, well, thanks for just spending some time with us. Well, thanks, Don, for having me. It's been wonderful. Here goes our friend Ron, Woo! driving away. There goes our friend. And there is our host, Roald, waving goodbye. Well, how did you like that, boys and girls? Well, I think our pennies are rusted well enough now. And that's some great stuff. All right. Now for our next experiment here, we're going to have my lab assistant, Jaloweezy, sit on a whoopee cushion filled with 
the xenon, the heaviest of the noble gases, and then we'll have our host rolled, fill it up with regular air, and we'll have her sit on that one as well to decide which one sounds more interesting. All right, Jallo Easy, you ready? Hot dog, Don! Here goes xenon, the heaviest <coughs> of the noble gases. All right, now that was fast was rolled, we'll fill up the whoopee cushion again. All right, thank you, Don. Oh, you're welcome. No, oh, you're welcome, too. Now, while he's filling this up with regular air, we want to remind you, safety first, even with just a plain old whoopee cushion filled with xenon, because it is the heaviest of the noble gases, and you don't want to be anywhere near it if it falls on you. All right, Jalouisi, prepared to sit on regular air. Now, I definitely think that Xenon was the more interesting of the Now, three. Don, there's where you're wrong. Now, even though Xenon was the more robust of the sound, you have to, you cannot deny that the regular air gave the, gave the better high-pitched, the more annoying sound that we would normally associate with the whoop cushion. Well, I think that was an opinionated opinion. Ah, thank you. And that is it today for World of Chemistry, and I, this was Roald Hoffman. And I was Don Sherwalter. And uh, tune in next week uh, when we will be conducting experiments with the Rubik's Cube and magnesium flares. <laughs>